Adventures of the Teeny Weenies by W. M. Donahay. An Adventure with a Frog. Ali, same where Cloughboy gasped the Chinaman, stopping at the back porch of the shoe house where the cook sat slicing a grape for lunch. I saw him a while ago talking to the Indian, answered the cook. They were sitting under that big mushroom on the other side of the house. Thank ye, and the Chinaman hurried around the corner of the house, puffing like a steam engine. Oh, there you are, he cried, as he spied the Indian and the cowboy lying in the shade of the mushroom. Ali, say me, Gotti, much to tell. Well, what is it, Chink? asked the cowboy. Me see big clough log. You mean a big bullfrog, corrected the cowboy. Yes, yes, a bull toad, a bullfrog cried the excited Chinaman. Him sleep on log at pond, him snore like everything's. You come and throw lasso over his head, and we catch ye him. You round up the fellows, and I'll get my rope, cried the cowboy, smacking his lips over the thought of delicious baked frog ham. In a few minutes the teeny weenies were on their way towards the pond, which lay back of the woods near the shoe house. Shh warned the Indian, as the little people hurried up to the edge of the pond. Frog him sleep, don't wake. The teeny weenies sneaked along carefully until they stood quite near the log on which the sleeping frog sat. He was a big green fellow, and the teeny weenies scarcely breathed for fear they would awaken the frog and lose him. Several of the strongest teeny weenies held the end of the rope while the cowboy crawled silently onto the log. Now, when I drop the noose over the frog's head, whispered the cowboy, you fellows jerk the rope and hold on for dear life. The cowboy slipped quietly up behind the frog and cleverly tossed the rope over the big fellow's head. Awakened by the rope falling about his neck, the frog gave a mighty leap towards the water. He was a powerful fellow and went into the water with a great splash, pulling several of the teeny weenies with him. As the frog disappeared beneath the water, the teeny weenies swam for shore, where they were pulled up onto the bank by their friends, all sputtering, all soaked to the skin, but unhurt. When the teeny weenies discovered that none of the little folks had been hurt by the ducking, they laughed until the tears ran down their teeny weeny faces. <laughs> roared the poet, as he rolled over on the ground with laughter. <laughs> I haven't seen anything so funny as this for a long time. It's almost as funny as the time the dunce fell into the dish of applesauce, giggled the lady of fashion. Goody gracious, exclaimed the Chinaman, who had been looking on with wide open eyes. Ali say me didn't know that bull clow, I mean bull flog, him so strong. Strong, cried the doctor. I should say they are strong. Why, a frog has wonderfully powerful legs. He could kick a teeny weeny over an ice cream bucket with one blow of his hind leg. I wouldn't mind if one kicked me into an ice cream freezer, grinned the dunce, who was fond of ice cream. That old frog reminds me of an old song, said Gogo, and as the teeny weenies walked back towards the shoe house, the little colored chap sang this quaint little song frog went accordin and he did ride mm-hmm mm-hmm frog went accordin and he did ride he wore a pistol by his side mm-hmm mm-hmm he rode up to miss mouse's house mm-hmm mm-hmm he rode up to miss mouse's house said he miss mouse will you marry me mm-hmm mm-hmm 